Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to The Witcher. I'm so glad you're here. We're here at this place called Lakeside, and we're in the Country Inn. And uh, strangely, there are two innkeepers here. We spoke th with this one last time. We're going to speak with this guy this time and hope that he will allow us to store things here because our inventory is maxed out. Let's talk to him. Greetings, sir. Well, greetings to you. To mm, spacious, yeah. You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? <laughs> this guy's got a little chip on his shoulder, I think. Uh, let's see. Any interesting news? Any interesting news? Oh, wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. Oh, okay. And uh, where is the mayor? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in... Another large hut, so I'll find it. <laughs> How can I help? One thing? One thing. Yes? Oh, okay, that's weird. You must know some interesting stories. You must know some interesting stories. Sure, I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? <laughs> Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? All right. I won't interrupt again. I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, Witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen. But fate had other plans. Her parents died. <gasps> Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Morhen, the hold of the witches. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witchers are feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the Witcher and the Sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. Hmm. Well, what's that matter? What the heck? Um. Hmm. That's weird. Um. So I'm. I'm also playing The Witcher Three, at the same time as I'm playing this game, and Cyrilla, A.K.A. Siri, is a major character in The Witcher Three. But I don't even know if she's born yet at this point. That's really strange. Maybe she was named after this person? Hmm. One thing. Yes? Uh, let's go ahead and take care of our inventory here real quick. Because sometimes you talk to these guys and you piss them off. And then um, you can't uh, take care of your inventory. 
I already read this book, I already read this book, I don't need to be carrying these uh, items of jewelry around, I don't think so anyway. Um, let's see... Uh, wolf pelts, I don't need that. Um, I don't need this alcohol either, I don't think. Let's get rid of all this alcohol here. Uh, get rid of that. I thought it was a potion base. Maybe I should have kept that. Get rid of this stuff for bombs. I don't know how to make bombs. Uh, oh wow, there's a scroll I haven't read apparently. Um, let's see, what else can I get rid of? That's pretty good. I don't know, I'd kind of like to get rid of a few more things though. Just to make up a little bit more space. Um, let's um, get out of here and read this scroll, then I can get rid of it. Kikimor's ire. Notes contain the formula for a potion made with Kikimor Queen's nerve. Notes contain the formula for a potion made with a Kikimor Queen's nerve. The potion unlocks the ability to acquire a stamina upgrade when consumed. Okay, cool. Nude formula Kikimor, or whatever that said, Kikimor's ire. Okay, cool. So now that we've done that, whoops, we can speak with him again. How can I help? One thing. Yes? And go back into inventory. And um, we could just store this. What is this? Dwarven Spirit. So that's a, that's a base. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, I don't need all these salamander brooches. Let's get rid of those. And we'll just put like some of these smaller food items over here. Because we're always picking up food. So we'll try to maximize these things. Oh, we don't need these flutter fangs either. Fangs either. Um, uh, I guess we'll keep the rest of the stuff maybe. I feel like I should be keeping these potion bases. And yeah, we'll throw this over here too. Okay, that clears out half of our inventory. I think that's pretty good. We'll see if it is or not. Okay, now well, let's talk to him again. How can I help? One thing. Yes? Well, let's see if he has another interesting story. You must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, oh. in a valley. Oh, okay, floating. so. Okay, we could just do and this she here. married a king, priest, mage, warrior, right? No thanks. How can I help? Okay. So anyway, we. Uh... One thing. Yes? At least cleared that up. You look sad. Can I help? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. What? Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Mm. No matter. How can I help? Okay, that was a strange conversation. Yes? Um, I guess that's it since I don't want to rent a room. Farewell. Okay. Well, that's, um, I guess the most interesting thing about that is, um, that he mentioned Cirilla, which is bizarre. So here I am running around here, picking up more crap. See how, see how much crap there is to pick up here? So much crap. Peasants, waitress. How can I help? Well, <laughs> two innkeepers? Two What's up with that? Members. Mama and Papa own the inn. Mama won't let me speak to strangers. As a waitress, you have to talk to strangers. Not true. Only regulars visit <laughs> our inn. Got you there. I'm a stranger. You're Geralt of Rivia. Whoa. Master Dandelion sang a ballad about you, so I know you. Got me there. How can I help? Strange, strange conversations I'd like to order wait here okay so she doesn't have anything interesting bear fat I don't need any bear fat okay oh okay geez everybody knows my business I don't know what a Rizalka is but everybody wants us to stay away from it okay Ooh, a barrel Taking it. 
to meet the famous one. All right. Oh, it's Julian. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. Really? That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Ooh, so let's see. Hmm, let's just start with what's up. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Okay, tell me about your grandfather. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later, someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure. For the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. Let's talk about Alvin. I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? Well, let's talk about this, um, this problem. The problem being the Vodinoi and the humans not getting along with each other. I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. Okay. He's also a merchant? Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. He sells um, books and stuff. Diary of a Dice Collector? The Diary of a Passionate Dice Poker Gambler? What? Uh, okay, we already read that one. We've already read that one. Already read that one, already read that one. Hymns of Madness and Despair, an occult tome about dormant underwater gods. Oh gosh, look how much coin I have. I can't buy any of these. Huh. Oh, uh, well. And then, oh, she's a gambler. Yes? So, you like to gamble, do you? So, you like to gamble? I love gambling. Female gamblers are rare. So are interesting men. If you don't care to play, leave. Jeez. Okay, goodbye. It's time I was on my way. Man. Hey, it's Dandelion. 
old peasant. What heat! May the sun set quickly. Though recently I've had terrible dreams of night wraiths. Tell me your dreams. Midnight demons emerge when the moon is high. I dream they carry me through the air, dance around me, then let me fall. Where did these dreams come from? One night, I saw night wraiths dancing in the fields. Even as I say this, I feel my flesh creep. Tell me more. Tell me more. I saw demons born of moonlight, wind, and the soil cooled after a day's heat. They hovered over the ground, raving. When one gazed at me, I ran as fast as my legs would carry me. I swore never to venture into the fields at night. Thanks. I'll tend to the night wraiths. Hmm. Okay. Thought a quest would pop up there, but I guess not. More wedding guests? Such a long journey here. Yeah. Another old peasant. Um, can't say that she did. <laughs> oh. I saw a Rusalka by the lake, but was puzzled to see her bleeding from the mouth. I asked Witcher Berengar about her. What did he say? She proved to be a Bruxa in truth. How do you know what a Bruxa is? My grandmother told me of vampires when I was young. Tell me. The Bruxa is a vampire. A vampire almost as horrid as the Nosferatu. Quite attractive. Bruxa easily lead foolish boys astray. She has her way with them, then sucks their life away. Bruxa give you nightmares. Usually they remain silent, though they can scream terribly. Fortunately, they cannot stand garlic. Oh, they're rendered helpless when you cut off their heads. Thanks. I'll be sure to smack any Bruxa I meet with garlic and decapitate her right away. I'm pleased to be of use. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. She gave us information about the Bruxa. Interesting. Bruxa blood obtained from Bruxa carcasses. Bruxa. A current Bruxa choose to live in ruins and abandoned human settlements, more rarely in caves and grottoes. They are fearless and resistant to stun attempts. They are sensitive to silver and vampire oil. They attack by surprise, try to daze their victims and drink their blood. It is said that at night Bruxa haunt attractive young men and drink their blood. These vampires move quietly in the dark to suddenly emerge near their victims. Bruxa may take the form of beautiful girls, leading some to mistake them for water nymphs, but their long fangs and unrestrained thirst for blood always betray them. Always. I saw a Rus What did he she oh, okay, that's it. Farewell. I still don't know what a Rusulka is. Uh-huh. This guy looks weird. The treasures of the underwater city should remain at the bottom. That idiot Julian has no idea what disturbing lake waters might bring. What are you talking about? <laughs> the deep is home to intelligent beings. We should leave them in peace. Let's see. We could say aquatic beasts rarely creep out onto land, or true aquatic beasts are too large and hard-shelled even for witchers. Nothing's nothing's too large or hard shelled for a witcher. Aquatic beasts rarely creep out onto land. For they ignore us as we do worms beneath our feet. If they directed anger against us, all would be lost. I hope they don't. Farewell. Okay. 